Hi, this is Russell Murray from Delaware Business Incorporators. In today's video, I want to talk about an all-in-one business management software called Striven from a company called Miles Technologies out of Lumberton, New Jersey. We are currently using this software for our business. If you have a business, you need this accounting software. One of the modules in Striven is called Accounting. This accounting software is incredibly powerful. It's part of a larger all-in-one business management software. This accounting software is built into Striven and includes other modules such as project management, sales management, customer relationship management, otherwise known as CRM, task management, inventory management, and customer and vendor portals. Let's take a look at the different sections in the accounting module. Now this is a real system that we're using, so I'm not going to be drilling down into each section, but just to give you an idea of everything that is available in the accounting dashboard of Striven. So in this section here, you can add checks, credit card charges, deposit, journal entry, fund transfers, and reconciliations. The system has a queue, so it tells us that we have 100 invoices that we need to print. This queue is also telling us that we had 13 failed credit card payments. And their sales orders, we have 15 that are incomplete, and we have 331 that are pending approval. We can also look at customer payments that have come in, and we can also show by the number, by different time periods. So it's a very powerful software we can show our customer invoices. Now this is a dashboard, so everything is summarized here. So if I drill down into here, you're gonna actually see our business uh, financials. So we have an aging, AR aging section and our profit and loss, and that can be based on different time periods too. Extremely powerful, extremely detail oriented, and this whole system is built into all the other modules. Everything works together, there's no, trying to connect and import and export and linking things up, none of that. So if I was to click on this, this would show me the vendor bills that are due, uh, what payables that I have coming up that are aging. In the inventory section, we can track the inventory, sales orders, purchase orders. We can add those different items. And we don't have, we don't have any inventory, so this really doesn't apply to us. So when you go to the accounting module part, you have your menus and you have uh, transactions. We can get a list of recurring transactions. You have an approval process that uh, you can have or not have. This is where you would enter journal entries. This is where you set up your chart of accounts. Um, the queue that I talked about earlier with the failed payments when it goes here. We can review transactions that are in the queue. We can print checks, we can print invoices. This is your banking section. And it's nice because all these things, if you don't want to look at those, you can expand them and, and um, collapse them. So this is where we would go for checks, for credit cards, for deposits, making transfers between accounts, doing bank reconciliations for your bank accounts, for your credit card accounts. It even has an online banking module. Uh, this is if you have inventory. Now, in our case, we set up items. These are service items, but you can have a number of different items. You can have service items. You can have physical items. Um, you can have kits. Um, with inventory, you can do the adjustments, transfers, your builds. And in Delaware, we're fortunate. We don't have any sales tax, but if you do have a sales tax, you can set that information up in this part of the module. Okay, I appreciate your time and thank you very much.